Hello everybody, welcome back to the House of Storm, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Lily Chapter 1. So guys, I did a little bit off the channel, just grabbed a, like a key we missed and another fuse. Let's see, is there another monster here? And we're just trying to get through it now. Um, we, uh, we got another bad ending last time. Also, I don't know where Rune went. I'm a little worried. So we'll see. I now have all the steering wheels as well. It's a gate, it's a lock. I think I have the key to unlock this. Oh cool, it's a shortcut. Remember this room? Oh, must unlock this too. Nice. We'll fuse 20. Well, rotate the lever. Yes. I think we have all the fuses now too. We got a rune. Nice. Rune will be happy that we got this rune. <laughs> sneak here. I'm a little worried that Rune's gone. I think we need something from him. Really worried now. There we go. Case of emergency drain and flood system. In order for the draining system to work, the correct fuse must first be in place. Draw four valve handles, this will activate the flood. It's reversible, so I'm doing it notifying the blank. So we could activate the flood now. It's probably a bad ending, right? That sounded pretty big. Let's check the water level. Hey, we can go down now. Nice. Rune is still gone. Okay, I can't sneak here, so it must be safe. This leads back here. Alright, let's save it. I'm probably on a bad route. Well, we never got the elevator working. Mailbox, it's empty. house. Why is there a house so deep underground? Oh, maybe someone lives here. 
there's an entrance to a house down here. Maybe there's also an exit on the other side. Don't you think? Well, no way to go but forward. Looks like a nice house. Oh, that's not good. I can't sneak either. Looks like a guest book, no signatures. Locked. Because look at that's That's creepy. In on a sec. Over here. This place is strange. What tipped you off? The hallway filled with creepy faces? No. No? I mean, yes, but don't you feel like this place is strangely cozy? It's almost like decorated with care. Now it's cozy. What are you doing? We can probably relax here for a while. Feels like a bad idea to relax in someone else's home. If we're quiet enough, they'll never know. Besides, aren't you tired? Yes. We deserve a break anyway. You're right the, that this place has a creepy but cute vibe to it. The fireplace is cute. The fireplace is nice. That's a weird thing to say. Are you in the burning things? What? No. I just meant that it feels peaceful here. Yeah. I'm not very good at conversations. You're fine. So what got you doing deadly rituals? Huh? Well, normally people who come here either have nothing to lose in their life anymore, or they're just plain dumb and reckless. Which one are you? Dumb, probably. So what's your deal? You don't have to tell me if you don't wanna. But I'll just annoy you until you do. Or until you ditch me. It doesn't make sense to ditch you just yet. Yet. Alright. Alright. Suppose I can tell you, but it's going to get long. I have nothing better to do. How should I put this? There's something very wrong with me. But it sounds ridiculous when I say it out loud. I'm all ears. It's possible I may be possessed. No, I'm definitely either possessed or cursed. It's been like this since I was little. Back then, I used to think I have a black cloud that just follows me everywhere. It makes people run away from me, it makes them hate me. I always have this terrifying look when they look at me. Sometimes it turns into hatred or anger. With animals, it's even worse. Dogs will bark at me, I can't even get close enough to pet a cat. Or today, I tried buying something at the store and failed horribly. I hate that I can't even do something as simple as that. It's just like being around me makes people tense and aggressive. But I know for a fact it wasn't always like this. I have memories of childhood where things were fine. Something must have changed at some point. And then everyone suddenly started acting differently with me. For a really long time, I thought it was my fault. I thought that maybe I'm just broken and different. I thought I did something wrong. I thought people had a reason to hate me so much. I know better now. It doesn't change how it feels. This thing inside me, whatever it is, it's isolating me from everyone. Even my parents hate being around me. They leave the house for weeks at a time and make excuses if I ask to come along. My brother is the only one who is there for me every time, and I know how hard it is for him. Somehow he never falters. Without him, I... I've been trying to get better for so long. This ritual is well my last hope. If I fail to find the answers, I'll probably give up. On everything. I can't bear to live like this anymore. Still, you should know about this. You've been around me, don't you feel it? Huh? Let me see. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, you're right. You got this weird ominous aura. Feels dangerous. Doesn't bother me. Really? Nah, I guess I felt worse. That doesn't make any sense. There must be something wrong with you. This person not human. 
Ha, says the possessed girl. Runes have possessions aren't a thing, so it might be a curse. You don't buy it. So what, you came here to get exercised? I tried that already. I wouldn't have come here unless I exhausted possibilities beforehand. Smart. No dice then? Nothing. That sucks. Have you tried throwing table salt at yourself? You hear it wards off demons. You might get rid of your curse, too. Very funny. You seem to know quite a lot about this place and the rituals. Ah oh, yes, I did a lot of these rituals to kill time. What? I'm surprised you're not dead yet. You know what they say, idiots don't die. I don't think anybody says that. Maybe you could start saying it then. So is your curse the reason you're trying to find the lighthouse? Yes, I was told there's someone there who can help guide me. Did you hear that? Yes. I don't like it. Guest, but not invited. I'm confused. Uh-oh. Fire! Fire! Make it stop. <laughs> hmm, a smell. Lilith. No. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Not you again. Get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Oh, we're trapped. Oh, we're back in the dream. Well, I'm really screwed now. If I wake up from here, what can I do? Let's see. A monster just put me in a cage and will probably eat me or something. Even so, it's not like I could stay here. This place is useless. Let's just find the exit and see what happens. Okay, I can't sneak. Two doors. There's three doors. Murderer. There she is. That's her. She's so cursed that the bird dropped dead. She can make a bird die. I wonder what she could do to people. What a freak. Hey, you killed that poor bird. No. Look at the window next to your seat. But I didn't. It died because of you. This is your fault. Hey, where do you think you're going? This isn't my fault. Can't believe you're still acting innocent. You disgust me. You cause nothing but ruin everywhere you go. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I don't do it on purpose. I didn't do anything. Maybe you should do something. Huh? To make it up to us, why don't you take responsibility for messing up everything? How? Hmm. Make her eat it. Yeah, eat the bird. What? You heard them. Eat it, witch. If you eat it, maybe we'll forgive you. No, I ain't eating it. Let's do what they say. Eat it, witch. No. Murder. This isn't real. Can I end this? This dream. It's the easiest way to get out. It's obvious, isn't it? Ah, it hurts, it hurts. When am I waking up? Let this stupid nightmare end. Why? It's just a dream, so why? It hurts. You died. <laughs> so we have to eat the bird. Okay, we know, we know. They want us to eat the bird. Okay. This isn't my fault. Yeah, we already did this. I thought we could stab ourselves and wake up, but I guess not. Will this get them to stop? Ugh. Oh, I feel sick. She actually did it. She's insane. She 
You're such a freak. Ha ha ha. It's all bloody now. Everyone's laughing at us. Oh, I... Wait. Oh, uh, yeah. No, don't push through. I gotta pick this up. Okay. I'm out of my cage. I'm still trapped, though. Oh, all my items are gone. Without that doorknob, I can't go back home. Good job getting out of that. I didn't get to see what you did, but you must be really good at passing through solid steel bars. Thanks. Looks like you're in a bind yourself. It was a demon. He could have just used his powers to escape, right? Maybe he just doesn't care. Listen, you probably shouldn't stay here. That monster lady heard the noise you made and comes to check. You'll be in trouble, you know. Hmm, you're right. We'll see you. Where are you going? I'm going to look around a bit. And? Just try and find an exit, too. And nothing else? Are you serious? Get me out of here! Ah, of course. Sure, I'll try. Alright. I'll save it because we talked to him. Wait. What did you try to buy? What? You said you tried to buy something at the store today. Why are you asking this now, of all the times? Just curious. Just some macarons. So you like macarons. Is this really the time to have this discussion? What else? I'm bored now, not later. It's not like I have much to think about in this cage. I'm leaving. Wait, at least tell me your name and I'll leave you in peace. <sighs> it's Lacey. Huh. Will that be all? Yeah. Going then. Good luck trying to get killed. Not sure where I am right now. All I do is find the exit without running into that monster. I'm sure I help that guy first. Large painting. He's gonna be missing both eyes. Psst. Over here. Oh. Oh, a human. I see. Strange. How'd you make it all the way here? Um, well, no matter. This isn't ideal, but it'll do, I suppose. Who are you? I do not have a name. What was that? Miss Knives is roaming around. Miss Knives. I think I met her. Yes, I saw that. It really brought out the crazy in her. It didn't exactly do anything. I need to find a way out of this place. I'm looking for a cursed door. Of course. We have a common goal. To avoid you wander aimlessly until you get wait, to avoid you wander aimlessly until you get killed, I'll help you. Alright. You don't have a name? I wasn't given one. When you live a solitary life, you don't need a name. Agree to call me what you wish. You humans seem to want to name everything. I'll call you Spider. It's a terrible name. You call her humans human. How do I get out of here? There are several strange objects scattered around this place. After you find them, you'll need to figure out how to unseal them. How will I know what I'm looking for? You'll know it when you see it. By the way, I came in with a lot of things, but they're all gone. I don't get them back. Don't worry, you'll, you'll have them if you get out of here. I hear her coming. You need to hide. Huh? Go now. Any clues? Yeah, I spoke to a spider. You spoke to a spider. Did the spider speak back? Yes. Okay, that's kind of intriguing. Tell me what to do to get out of here. Really? Yes, I'll take care of it. Alright. I'll just be here. I'm ready to get out of here. 
so let's see. Miss Knives trapped us. We're definitely cursed, because why did she get like that? She got, like, angry when she could feel us. So now we're stuck here. So let's see. I guess we'll keep going for a little bit. That's probably the way out. Pile of books taller than you. Pile of books shorter than you. It's locked. Bookshelf housing, hundreds of books. Thirty-six experiment has failed as well. I'm telling you, she's practically just used as a tissue. <laughs> just to use tissue. Useless, useless demon. We're wasting our time. Calm down, I can't work when you're so noisy. Go play with your other dolls. Maybe I will. I don't think you should be testing on her anymore. Her powers hold potential. I wish to entertain this idea a little bit longer. She's capable of any sort of coherent thought. Just wasting souls on her. There's something inside the lamp. Reach for it? Yes. Obtained eyeball. That must be one of them. So creepy. Large paint seems to be missing both eyes. So we gotta find the other one. I don't like these paintings, they freak me out. Looks like some sort of stew. It's cold and doesn't seem to be looked after in a long time. Stir it up. Yes. The fourth blessing. You. What did you do to his leg? There's a black thing sticking out from the stew. It seems to be part of something bigger. You can't take all of it. Okay, we got both. No, not yet. I think entering the painting will be for the next episode. Alright guys, so I want to thank you so much for being a guest in the House of Storm. And guys, if you are enjoying these episodes of Paper Lily Chapter 1, please let me know. And everyone, I will see you all in the next episode.